Hey, what's up, everyone? It is Custom here, and I'm back with a new video. And today I'm on Discord, and I'm going to be telling you how you can make your server look attractive for new members. Now, I've been doing tips videos recently, uh, once a week. I've been doing how to grow your server, how to get your server active, and this week is about how to make your server look attractive for those new members on your Discord server. Now, if you may not know, I own two servers. I own this one, Custom's Magical World, which is all about my YouTube channel. It's all about that, and I do videos on here as well. So make sure to go join that links on screen right now. But I also own a server called Something for Everybody, which is Discord partnered and has 53,000 people in it. So it's definitely big, and I have had some experience owning a server. Now, there's a couple of tips which I can give you to make your server look attractive for those new members. So that's what I'm going to be doing today with five tips, followed by tips from some server owners as well. But before we go and do that, you need to go and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure it turns from red to grey and go and hit the bell. If you subscribe, it helps me massively. I'll be giving away 20 nitros if I hit 10,000 by the end of this month. So make sure to go and get your friends and family to subscribe. So make sure to go do that. And also make sure to go and like this video and comment below as well. I also do a shout out once a week for um, a subscriber. And this week it is... Um, Danks world it will be put at the end of the video so make sure to go check that server out and go enjoy that anyways guys let's get straight into this video so the first way in which you can make your server look appealing to those new members is by the server name and the server icon now the server icon is one of the first things which um, a new member will see as soon as they join the server it pops up on the side of the list or when they're sent an invite is the first thing they see so if you have an attractive server icon people are going to want to join it because it looks interesting Especially also the name. If you have a catchy name, something they can remember or something which looks interesting, they might want to join it too. So, if you have a catchy name and a catchy icon, it will help those new members get settled on the server and it will look attractive for those new members and they might want to stay, talk and, you know, maybe invite their friends too. So the first thing I suggest is having an awesome server icon and an awesome server name. Right guys, so the second method in which you can make your server look attractive for those new members is via the emotes. It's one of the first things which a lot of people look at when they join a the server. If you have awesome emotes, it's going to make your server look attractive. Like for SFE, um, again, links on screen right now, you can see that we have our custom koala emotes. Now we um, commission these to make it um, you know, interesting for our members. Now these emotes will be able to be used by anybody on the server, except from the animated ones or those emotes will be able to be used anywhere on Discord if they have Nitro. So if you make your emotes look attractive, it's going to make your server look attractive and people might ask, oh, where did you get that from? And it could get you more joins as well. So if you have attractive emotes, it's going to make your server look attractive as well. So that's my second method, is having attractive emotes upon your server. Now the third method in which I suggest you can get your server looking attractive for those new members is by having the top channel being your information channel. Now as soon as they join the server, the first channel which they see, if it's a standard link, will be that top channel. Because if they join, they will see the information channel right at the top. Your information channel, if it gives a bit of depth into what the server's about, into the rules, into what you do, it may make your server look attractive for those new members. It may tell them more about the server and, you know, what they can get stuck in. So if it makes it look more attractive, it can keep members on, it can actually get them to get their friends on, and it gives them an understanding of what your server's about. So one of the first things you should do when you make a server is make your information channel and put it right at the top because I really suggest it. And as you can see here at the bottom, we also have Have You Read This Channel? Give Us A Wave, and we have 17,000 reactions on it. A lot of people like to react as soon as they join the channel because if they see this, they're like, oh wow, look at this. Um, there's 17,000 reactions. It makes your server look appealing for those new members as they're joining. And it could keep them on as well. Right guys, so the fourth method is roles. Now roles are everything. They give you a name, a description of what they are, and they give you a colour. Now on SFE we have a colour scheme. As we go down, we've got red, then we go pink, then we've got purple, then a bluey colour. And it also tells us like owners, leadership team, admin, moderation, staff. If I go over to my other server, it's a similar thing. You've got custom, which is me obviously. Then I've got like a ready colour, which is for admins. Then I've got like a goldy colour for like mod. And it goes down again. And it tells you what they are. So if you have good roles and, you know, a nice colour scheme for your roles, it will look appealing. And people might want to get involved, might want to get those roles, so they might be active. And they might get their friends on as well. So if you make the server look appealing and aesthetically pleasing with a nice colour scheme for your roles, it could help massively. And it could make everything awesome. So make sure that you have an awesome role system and make sure it looks attractive because it will then make your server look attractive too. Right guys, for method 5, it's all about channels. Now I know I already talked about the information channel, but I mean categories and channels here. Because if you've got nice categories which stand out, we have the little lines here. I'll put the lines in the description below so you can potentially get them for yourself. They make them stand out and it shows different sections. 
if you have different channels and you make it look organized it's going to make it look attractive for those new members that are joining because they can see where they're going they can see what um, categories there are and they can see what channels they want to um, communicate in if they really have to search for the channel which they're trying to talk in it doesn't really help like see here is important it's got these channels which are not going to be able to talk in of the day they're not going to talk in here so the first channel which they see is going to be the general chat again on here information then the first one they see is the general chat it's going to potentially get people on your server talking and it makes it look really attractive because it looks organized appealing and it would just look very good for those new members that are joining your server if you have a good channel system and you have a good category system it will look so good for those new members and it will make it very attractive so that's what i recommend you do right guys so now i'm going to pass you over to some other server owners who are going to give you their top tip about how to make your server look appealing for those new members so let's go right over to them Think about why you would want to join a server. Use third person perspective for once and try to give an honest opinion of what you think about the server you're planning to make. Don't follow certain practices or add certain things just because you saw someone else do it. Do things because they make your server something you want to be a part of. This is something that so many servers mess up. They add bots or certain channels just because they saw another server with them and not because it actually makes the server more enjoyable. I would say that the best way to make your server look appealing is with three separate methods. Firstly, you do not want to have too many announcement channels, as this makes users not see the main focus of your server, which is where you talk. I would say a good, reasonable number would be 4 channels in a single information category at the top, with a maximum of 6, as any more would be less appealing to users. Secondly, you don't want your channels to have vastly different channel name lengths. For example, a channel with a really short name, surrounded with two channels with really long names, looks dreadful. Either have similar name lengths for your channels, or try to organise them in length, going from shortest to longest, or longest to shortest. Finally, you want to have good organisation for your roles. This is so roles look nicer when a user looks at a user's role list. I feel like one of the best ways to grow your Discord server is to have it just look nice and organised and for people to use easily because then it gives people not only a reason to join if it looks nice, but also a reason to stay because no one's going to want to stay after they've joined if it just looks like a clunky mess. And that means have things like a bots channel just not sitting in your general category. Have your roles organised in different categories for different text channels based on what they are. There's no point in having a bots channel in a general channel because that's only used for bots, for people to control the bots, like a music bot, and not for people to talk in. And that then gives people a reason to stay in general and I feel like that's a great way to get people to not only stay but also other people to invite people or join the discord server. Right guys so I hope those tips from me and the server owners helped you massively. If you make your server look appealing for those new members more are going to probably stay on the server, more are probably going to want to talk and more are probably going to invite their friends so it's a it's a win-win situation and it helps you massively. So I really, really recommend that you follow the tips from this video. It will help you a ton. So if you go and do that, it can make your server 10 times better and it can make it awesome. So if you want to go do that, let me know what you've done in the comment section below. Also go and comment some feedback and also comment what other tips video you would want to see because I will be featuring more of you who do that in the end of these videos. Also guys, remember to like the video, go comment down below and go and subscribe because it helps me massively. Anyways guys, have an awesome day and peace out.